Hola familia, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today, as you guys can see from the title, we're doing a tag video, which of course is all about eyeshadows, which I'm very excited about. But I'm even more excited because I am collaborating with the beautiful Steph Lyons here on YouTube. You guys have heard me talk about her before. She is the one of two creators of the Partners in Cream Project Pan. I actually found, I think I found Steph by chance. You know how like they recommend you videos? I clicked on her video. First of all, she is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And then the young lady opened up her mouth and I was just like, her voice, her voice, you guys, I can hear her talk all day long. I am not even exaggerating when I tell you guys, I have actually watched certain videos of hers more than once just because I love her accent. I absolutely love her accent. And the best part is she's a singer. <laughs> she sings throughout all of her Project Pan. She's a Project Pan, a fellow Project Panner. She is a beauty enthusiast as well. She is trying to pare down her collection. She's a very mindful shopper and I do love that about her. She keeps me grounded and she's a great person overall. I'm telling you guys, like I seriously could just listen to her all day long. She is super, super kind. She's just one of those people that are just so, she really calms me. Like she's one of those few people that when I talk to her, I feel calm. I feel relaxed. She's just super kind and super sweet. I swear if that woman lived anywhere near me, I think I would smother her. <laughs> I really would smother her. If you have no clue who I'm talking about. You guys really should check her out. So her and I decided to do a collaboration on a tag video. This was originally a collab video as it was. This was a collab between Morgan Turner and Christine Holdcroft, I believe is her name. I'll link them as well down below in the description box. They did a wardrobe tag about categories that you would put your eyeshadows in for different occasions, obviously your wardrobe. You have certain clothing for certain events. Same goes with makeup and specifically eyeshadow, of course. So we are gonna do this tag video today. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the familia. My name is Alejandra, I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with the Dash Project Pan. If that is something that interests you, subscribe, join us. And now without further ado, let's get on with the video. So first one is if I was a wedding guest. So recently you guys know I was a wedding guest on uh, the Labor Day weekend. So I'm going to share with you guys the palette I actually use. Since we are right now at the end of spring, fall, this is the vibe you're going to get amongst these. Because right now, now we're in the fallish end of summer kind of thing. So that's what you're going to see. But I really did use this palette September 5th. That's when the wedding was. And I ended up using my Natasha Denona Bronze palette. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the most boring palette to some but I do love this palette. This palette is beautiful, you guys. This is really, it's super warm tone, which is my thing. I love warm tones over cool tones, even though I do love my cool tones too. It's just, I prefer warm tones on my skin tone, especially in the summer. So this is what I wore and it, <laughs> It wore beautifully, you guys. It blended beautifully. I had no problem with this palette. I do love it. Some people say it's repetitive, redundant, and boring. To me, it's exactly what I wanted in a bronze palette. One and done, basically. I only want one bronze palette, and this was it. So I have gotten quite a bit of use out of this palette since I got it in June. So that is the palette I did wear for a wedding guest. All right, so we have a date night. All right, Mr. Man and I. Mr. Man and I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. We only get one date night a year, I know. So uh, the one time, but if we were to go on a date night again, cause we already did that and it was back in June, it would end up being this palette. I would actually use this palette. Sample Beauty Prodigy Palette. This is the palette I would use. I would actually use this for date night right now. This is a palette I would choose because of the colors. I still have summer, but I'm getting fall. I can go sultry, I can go bright, I can do both. I could do fall, I could do spring. Like it's everything right now. This is everything right now. And it has different textures within the shadows. So I go with this palette, the Prodigy Palette by Sample Beauty. This is actually the jewel toned edition, by the way. Number three, girls night. Girls night. I don't have one of those. I don't really have many girls night. Uh -huh, yeah. So what I would choose for girls night, that would be the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. This palette gives me everything. I can do very bright and bold, or I could do very subtle or purpley or uh, brightness. Like it, it, I can tone it down. I could just do a simple matte look. It's really, really pretty. I do like this one. For girls night, I find this to describe 
my girls night like fun cheery wine you know the whole deal this is what i would choose i would definitely choose this one for girls night and it doesn't matter what time of the year i would actually choose that for girls night number four for a vacation well we all know i just spoke about never even having a date night so why would i even go on vacation we did go on vacation last year, but it was a family vacation. Mr. Man and I have not have not had a, a vacation, just him and I, since 2007. Yeah, you guys, 2007. That's the last time I actually went away with Mr. Man by ourselves. So what I would choose if we were going on vacation anywhere it would be this one. Absolutely this one. Because you know I would be choosing an island, a Caribbean island, somewhere warm, somewhere with the beach, somewhere that does not have absolutely no snow where I don't need to wear 20 layers on something I would choose somewhere warm so this is what I would choose and does this not scream summer to you yes it does it screams the beach it's spring it screams Caribbean exactly this tropical island with coconut trees and palm trees and you know drinks with little umbrellas in it <sighs> can't wait till my kids grow up you guys <laughs> so this is the palette that I would choose I would absolutely choose this one for vacation hands down. Number five for graduation. Okay, so graduation normally, if it's either high school kids, whatever it is, most of the time, college included, is around May, June. So for me, I'd actually choose the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition because I feel like this palette can do that. It can give me that nice brightness, but not too much in your face. I can tone it down, but still get some sort of color in my look because these colors are not super bright in your face, but I can get something out of it. This is what I am wearing partly on my eyes. You can see that it looks bright, but I still won't get those looks. So I could do this and it has these nice textured ones on here where I can really bump it up if I really wanted to, depending on whose graduation it is and what we're doing afterwards. So this is what I would choose the rose gold edition palette for graduation. Number six, Christmas Day. Now typically Christmas Day I do not wear any makeup. That is one day guarantee that I do not wear makeup unless we are doing something formal, which most of the time we're not. We're just spending time at home with the kids, letting them do their thing with their gifts. I'm normally cooking something or we're going to a dinner at my in-laws or if my parents are doing something. But I, if I were to do anything on my face, honestly, I'm not even exaggerating you guys, I would do this one. This is the Juvia's Place The Nudes palette. It looks boring, but this is it. This would be it. I would not doll myself up. I would not go over the top. That's not a day for me to get dressed up like that. It's just more of a day to get dressed up comfortably. So this is the palette I genuinely would use. I would actually use this one. It's I can get some sort of, you know, dimension to my eyes without it looking so out there where I don't look like I'm legit going to the club. So I would choose this one. At this point in my life, this is what I would choose. If I didn't have kids, it'd be a different story. Number seven, a birthday party. Now, most of my birthday parties that I am attending these days are children's birthday parties. I did attend a birthday party in August and I I wore something like this. I can't remember what I wore on my eyes, but it was not neutrals. It definitely wasn't neutrals and it was a kid's outdoor with the slide, a water slide and you know, all that kind of stuff. This is what I would wear, the Juvia's Place Wahala palette. This screams party to me, doesn't it? It screams party. I can keep it toned down, but I can add some brightness to it if I wanted to. And at that birthday party, I did wear brightness. I just can't remember what I wore, but it wasn't neutral. So this is what I would choose. This is this to me looks like a party. I get my cooler tones, I get my neutrals, I get my bright, I get my, you know, color that isn't so out there that, you know, won't make people like gasp at me and stuff but this is what i would choose for a birthday party number eight the office you guys know how i feel about the office not the not the show about what you can and cannot or should and should not be allowed to wear at the office it, that should not anyway i'm not gonna get into it i'm not gonna get into it i would choose this one this is the one that i would choose this is a sydney grace tiny marvels palette i feel like this has enough color enough neutrals where you can get away with doing both where it's not super bright in your face but yet you still get that taste that thirst for some sort of color in your look at least i know i would i would want some sort of color in my look and this is enough for me this would do it i would get what I want out of it without looking like my shirt right now. So I would definitely choose this one for the office. I would I would actually rock this to an office. Number nine, errands and everyday go-to. Okay, so if I'm just running around every day, 
typically, you know, you guys know me, I wear whatever is either in my pan those eyeshadows realistically or what I pulled in my shot, my stash. It doesn't matter how bright, bold, deep, sultry, glittery, shiny, matte, muted, whatever it is that I choose, I leave my house with it. I kid you not, like anything, any eye look that I wear on camera, I will wear outdoors and I will not be shy and hide behind sunglasses. Like I legit wear it out. Last time I did that, I actually went to Staples and the manager actually asked me if, if I went to a photo shoot and I told her no and she just looked around like no this is what I do every day everyone loved it I'll tell you that much but not most people do not wear that much makeup but I don't care I did it anyway so what I would choose is this one this is the one I would choose Queen of Hearts palette this is the Queen of Hearts palette because again if I had to choose one palette I can get my taste for my neutrals but I get some brights in there and the reason why I chose this one is because this specific palette I can't speak about the brand itself but this specific palette the mattes blend like a dream and the shimmers are enough impact for me to to tell that I did something to my eyes and it looks shiny and nice and I could do a quick look I wouldn't have to sit there and take my time or have to use specific brushes or techniques to get a look out of it this is a palette that I can use and it just goes on really easily goes on really quick blends super quickly and nicely and I can trust it every time so that's why I chose this one specific just because of the color story but also because of the fact of how this specific palette has its formula and last but not least is New Year so for New Year's this palette stuck out to me it looks like New Year's doesn't it this is the colored rain cheers to the beauty palette now the reason why I chose this one is because I can get my taste of New Year's typically when I think of New Year's I think of gray and black don't ask me why but that's what I think of when I think of New Year's but sometimes I don't want to wear that so I want different shades and this gives it to me. I have my gray, I have my black, but I also have my warm tones if I want warm tones, my cool tones if I want cool tones, shimmeries, mattes, metallics, and this highlighter here. So this is the palette that I would choose. Depending on what I would be wearing, this is what I would be wearing on my eyeballs. So I think this one would work. And I, I do like the formula of this. I did a gray and burgundy kind of look with this palette. It was very, very pretty. I would rock that for New Year's. And I remember that that specific look if you guys ever saw that video that was the video where legit the raccoon started moving I had to stop recording get mr man to get the raccoon out of our roof and out the door all right you guys so that is the 10 categories and the 10 palettes that i would choose for them thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out steph's video steph's channel tell her i sent you you guys would love her seriously i can no longer have a maybelline product in a video without having to sing the little jingle that it comes with because of her i blame her for that one thank you so much steph for collaborating with me on this video as well i will catch you guys in these videos right over here until then bye guys